Welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This is a short one on blend options. If we go to objects, down to blend, blend options. In here I've got spacing and I've chosen specified steps. Uh, the quantity 20 and the orientation is aligned to path as, a, as opposed to aligned to page. Once you've got those in, hit OK. Artboard is a thousand pixels square and I've just drawn in a background color. So with rectangle, click rectangle, and drag from one corner to the other, and then hit Command-2 to lock that in place. Then we're gonna draw a line. So select your line tool, and click and drag, holding Shift to get a straight line. And for the stroke on this one, pick something light. If you struggle with colors, use the Adobe Color Themes and explore. And in there is a load of presets that you can add to your swatches and they're all quite nice. So for this one, I can't remember what this one's called. Um, it's got a strange name, but anyway, pick something that you like and draw a line with a stroke on it. Then when that's selected, click, drag, hold, alt and shift and you've got two lines. Select those two lines, go to object, blend and make. Shortcut is command. Alt B and it draws the lines, 20 lines in between those two. Now, where it gets interesting is when you start moving these anchor points around. So, with the direct select tool, just click one, drag it across the other, and as you can see, it still fills in those steps, but it starts to look nice and cool. That's pretty much it. You can start to add more points in with the pen tool, so press P and add an anchor point. And once you've added that anchor point, if you click the anchor point and hold Alt, you can start to give it a bit of a curve and then just mess around with these curves to get something that you like the look of. And that is the blend. Something similar to it is if you select the polygon tool and alt shift and drag out a polygon and then with v rotate it hold and shift so the points at the top when you select this and hit effects distort transform 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 effect comes up now click preview and on the scale by all means mess around with the numbers but something to start with 90 vertical 90 leave the horizontal at zero zero angle is going to be about five and copies now just keep going up until you find something you like the look of 20 looks about right you can scale the stroke effects but for this we're going to leave them on and hit ok that is a similar blend process to what we showed here. The good thing about this one is if you direct select and you see these circles, you can drag these circles in a little bit and round off those corners. There we go. And you can even use the width tool on one of these points and drag them out to get some cool effects. So there you go, blend options in Adobe Illustrator CC. If that was helpful, click like or subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.